Hello, Couch Potatoes. Welcome back to Fallout 4 with Dude Long Couch. We're back here in Sanctuary, and we are ready to do more railroad stuff. One thing of note, guys. Actually, I gotta take care of one thing. I did the usual off-camera stuff, stored some things, junk some stuff. I did try to go sell that kneecapper missile launcher that I don't need anymore, and it turns out that it sells for like 600 caps, which is great, except there are no merchants that I can find anywhere that actually have that amount of caps. Which really pisses me off. That's really insanely stupid. <laughs> the general store here in Sanctuary didn't have enough. None of the vendors that I found in Diamond City had enough. To be fair, I only tried one of them because it was nighttime and only that one 24-hour one was open. But it was at, you know exactly at that moment that I said, screw this. It's time to actually <laughs> play the game. I'm just going to store it in my uh, safe house for right now. Um, in this uh, segment, guys, we're going to check out this Mercer safe house mission, secure Kingsport Lighthouse and then use Workshop because that's the mission that Pam gave us and I want to get started on it. Now it looks like it's all the way over here on the east coast which is an area I haven't actually been to yet. We might have some traveling to do. We can get to the Saugus Ironworks as we clear that place out. Can we come here? Okay we can. Might not actually be that far. But this is still going to be some new territory, so that's fun, because I think it's probably been a while since we actually ended up someplace new. And we're pretty close to that Witchcraft Museum, which I've been wanting to check out since I started this damn game. Uh, let's see, Oberlin Station successfully defended itself. Go Oberland. I'm happy that I can give them the artillery, and they are apparently good to go. Right, let's ready the rifle, and just set off. What are all these waypoints on my radar doing. I'm not sure why there's that many. <laughs> Whatever, I'll quick save and we'll deal with what may come. We're still pounding around with Paladin Dance. He seems to mostly like our actions. And I think we've advanced to the first stage of our relationship with him, but we still have probably a little while to go. Now we're getting creepy music. Not sure why. What the hell? What is that? No oh, I think it's seagulls. Oh, it's birds up in the trees. Dude, he's stuck in the tree. Look at him. What am I vatted on right now? What the fuck was that? Guys, okay, I just figured out that if you hold down the vats button, you can go into vats without actually being targeted to anything. How weird is that? Why does he even let you do that? That's so strange. Anyway, look at this idiot. Look, he got stuck in a tree. You're a bird. How'd you get stuck in a tree, moron? You deserve that. I just saved you from an even worse fate because it was only a matter of time until you did something stupid like forgot how to breathe and ended up dead anyway. Dumbass. Long neck Lukowski's cannery. I wonder what might be in here. Do we want to go in here or should we just go around it? Probably just going to go around it because I think that's the kind of place we'll end up getting a quest for eventually. Maybe I'll just come up to the roof and just peek around. See if there's anything of note. Doesn't actually seem like there's a whole lot going on here. There's not even any raiders out here defending it. We're going to try not to get super duper distracted. <laughs> I'd like to finish off some of these railroad quests, make some progress. Recently, we did unlock a new item from Tinker Tom. It was a, a crappy deliverer mod that we didn't even need, but that seemed to unlock after we did the Mila stuff, so maybe we'll go back to that after this. Kingsport Lighthouse. Okay, so we've got some... Regular waypoints and some red waypoints. Child of Adam Preacher. Okay, well these guys are assholes. Let me make sure... Oh, he's got a frag mine there. Okay, yeah, they're already hostile, so there's no reason not to just pick them off. Oh man, that's awesome! One shot, one kill. Okay, uh, 
let's see. Nobody else there. That house is uh, probably a great fortified position. They can sit up there and take shots at me. There are a lot of... Okay, I guess each waypoint is an enemy. They must all be inside. Let's move up a little bit. Nope. Come on, stick your head out. There's somebody. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah! I got the sneak attack in, but it didn't kill him. Suck it. Oh, dance! Dance! What are you doing, man? Come on, that's just that's just poor tactics right there. He jumped right in front of my shot. You're a soldier, man. You should know better than that shit. Well, somehow we got the element of surprise back. I guess these other dudes are asleep. <laughs> you never know what you'll find. Would I go to hell if I killed people who were trying to kill me in their sleep? I mean, it's just tactically sound. It is kind of rude, I guess, but if these dudes are already hostile, who really cares? All right, let's clear them out first, then we'll look around and read terminals and all that good stuff. Behold, Adam's light. Okay, they're mad. They're stealthing. What the hell? These guys are weird. Okay, they're all up in this lighthouse. There's the workshop we need to activate. Perhaps Adam is testing me again. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe you're about to get shot in the face. Oh yeah. I see. Ah. I need to jump, Adam. Is that you? <laughs> These guys think I'm Adam. A bunch of idiots. Is that you, brother, sister? By the way, what projectile do I have equipped? Let's get, uh, yeah. Wait, I put it on Molotov. Why is it showing grenade? Just the wind. Nothing to warrant Adam's who? Whatever. Ah. <laughs> Oh, he's a like, oh wow, level fifty. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they are here. I wanted to get a shotgun blast in while I was still stealthed. Burn, bitch! Burn in the purifying fire. You religious types like that, right? Holy moly. Just hanging out up here with a glowing one. <laughs> that dude actually wasn't all that tough for a level 50. Guess I should be grateful. I'm trying to look at his body so I can see everything he's got. There's not much left of him, though. Oh, I almost had it. Damn it. There it is. There it is. Okay. He actually didn't really have anything good. It's unfortunate. What do we got? I think some people spawned down below. There's Wait one more the guy up here. Face. What is... What is all this? 
Alright, I'll take the mini nuke. Guy's just a traitor. Strength and reinforced combat armor. Nah. I will take that. Just a scrap. Alright, well I guess that's it up here. <laughs> there must be a story behind that guy just hanging out dead up here, but... Who knows? Come out. Embrace Adam's glow. I don't know how I missed so many people down here. Step out into Adam's light. Dude, these people are so weird. I need not be afraid. Adam drives away the faithless force. Oh, they're down there. I see. What? How is that not a direct headshot? These gamma guns are disorienting. Oh my god. Die, fucker. <laughs> hmm, there's one more guy. I can't see him. Let's just go ahead and activate this. Maybe he'll come out of hiding. Nope. Unacceptable. By the game standards. <laughs> Alright, well. Guess we're gonna jump down here. These guys are not very self-aware, though. My stealth skill isn't even all that good. I just keep... Getting it back. So apparently there's a guy... Must be on that boat over there. Okay. Oh, he leaned back. Right at the last second. Alright, screw you, dude. I still do love the way those guns look. <laughs> well, the way the shots look, rather. Ugh. Oh, this place is hot. Oh my god. Okay, I, where's the safe zone? Jesus. Let me... Okay. Let me go ahead and clear this up. <laughs> I like that there's an enemy type in this game that actually attacks, you know, with, with rad damage instead of just regular damage. It's a, it's a nice way to mix it up. Go ahead and take uh, two of those, and then we'll take a Rad X to help protect us. Awesome. That was perfect. Look, there's a little sliver left, but that's okay. It's almost exactly the right amount. And we'll just eat a shitload of food. Deathclaw meat. I should cook that later. Let's eat the Insta Mash. Melons we could plant, but I don't care. I'm just gonna eat all this stuff. Oh, I probably should have held on to that. I think that's part of that 2% uh, XP boost that I keep wanting to make. But I can't find the blood leaf to make it. I should probably like look that up at some point. Because I don't know where the hell to find it. Alright, what do you have, buddy? Alright, I guess that would be everybody. Let's head back up, activate that workshop. Hopefully that's all this quest will consist of, then we can go back to Pam. Although I imagine they'll probably want me to set up some defenses here too. Build defenses, yep. Alright, well, as always... We're going to build artillery if we can swing it. Nope. We are missing a lot of things. Oh, boy. And there's nobody here that I can send to Sanctuary. 
That sucks. Why would they give you an area way out in the middle of nowhere and then, like, not give you any people to set up the trade route with? Like, who's running around with enough junk to build this type of shit just sitting in their inventory? Whoops. <laughs> I just realized I scrapped that computer before we could actually go in and look at what it had. We're still missing screws, gears, springs, and concrete. If I can find the concrete, I might be able to get the other stuff I need from scrapping the guns. Hey, this ought to do it for concrete, huh? Yes. Excellent. So we need four screws, six gears, five springs. I'm not confident this will actually work, but we will try it. Also, I just heard an explosion. Not sure what that's about. Gonna save. Alright, where'd that gun bench go? It's uh, out here in the lighthouse, isn't it? Okay, three screws, gears, steel. It's helpful. Four steel, screw copper. I don't think this is going to give us enough, unfortunately. Yeah, we're still missing gears and springs. Well, we might not be able to do artillery here. But maybe we can at least do enough to complete the quest. Some simple guard posts using wood and steel. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I don't care enough to actually, like, do this for real. Like, I'm not gonna make tactical decisions about where this shit goes. I'm just gonna drop this stuff. Because I... It, it doesn't really matter. Like, if you're not actually using this stuff... Like, if you don't make this, a you know, your base of operations, then it doesn't really matter. It adds to your defense rating just the same, and, you know, the NPCs use it to defend themselves. And it works just fine, so whatever. How many more of these do we need? Zero percent. So all the shit we've built so far doesn't matter. Am I not in the right spot? What the hell? Maybe it's not the right kind of defenses? Maybe they want turrets? I don't know. I can't be building a shitload of turrets either. Just take the guard posts. This is crap. Hmm. Look at, look at what we have here. Gotcha. Fiber optics and crystal added. Steel added. Is that it? It's still really not enough for the stuff I need here. I did go around and grab some of the gamma guns and scrap those, seeing if that would give me any useful items. And I got some stuff from it, but not enough. Copper and glass. That down. I also realized that the reason that those uh, guard posts, <laughs> my mind was blanking, the reason the guard posts weren't giving me any defense rating is because they weren't manned, because there's nobody here to man them. Which is dumb. This is a dumb quest. Steel, fiber optics, and crystal. So basically, what I'm trying to do right now is just pull together enough shit to build a generator and build some automated turrets. There's also a safe in here. Let's check this out. Mother... Ugh, 
I hate when you get so close that it just doesn't quite count. Got it. Okay, what do we got? Give me something good. Auto caps, pipe pistol. Well, that's a skill they don't teach in boot camp. Not super duper helpful still. Let's break down the pipe pistol. Only steel. <laughs> Okay. I still need one more gear to even be able to build one turret. And I don't think I can build anything else in here. I need a little bit more copper to do a trap. Can't do any of that stuff. And as far as a generator... I, I need gears to do that, too. This is dumb. There's nothing out here. I'm gonna end up running back to Sanctuary just to grab junk. And then coming back. Yes. Okay. Same shit. That lighter might have given me something decent. No one cares about wooden crates. There. This area down here is really hot because of those barrels, so I don't like being down here. Ooh. There's lots of dead sharks on all the beaches in this game. It's like their standard decoration. <laughs> yeah, just make sure you make a model of a dead shark and then just plop it down everywhere. Every beach in the game. Why wouldn't there be dead sharks? Still no gears. Damn it! Hey, Dance admires me. Awesome. I don't know why. I don't think I did anything to deserve that. <laughs> At least not recently. Alright guys, but I did go back to Sanctuary and grab a bunch of shit that'll hopefully be useful. Hopefully I brought enough. I don't know, let's pop a generator right there. Let's go into defense. Build some real basic turrets. Okay, what do we need? Circuitry, gear. Okay, so we can build seven of these. That damn well better be enough. 50% right there. Awesome. And I forgot, I don't even need a generator to make these, do I? They're just automatic. Duh, whatever. Give me this back. Dance hated that. What? Come on, I just built the thing. It was my generator. I guess I should have just stored it. Whatever. Eat shit, Dance. I don't care. I'm going back to turn this quest in. This is a stupid quest. Would it be possible to speak off the record for a moment? Um... That doesn't sound good, but okay. Absolutely. Go ahead. Thank you. This is difficult for me to say, so... I hope you'll bear with me as I try to get through it. When you were first placed under my sponsorship, I had some serious reservations about it. Despite all that, this has turned out to be a rewarding experience for both of us. At this point, honestly, I don't feel like there's anything else I could teach you about being a Brotherhood soldier that you don't already know. It's apparent from your attitude and your actions that you intend to keep those ideals close to your heart. So Wait, is this happening now? Because I just did something that he hated. I haven't done anything to make him like me. I don't understand what's happening, but whatever. I'm flattered to hear this, but I feel like there's more. There is. I'm just not very good at these sort of things. Let me start at the beginning. I grew up alone in the capital wasteland. Spent most of my childhood picking through the ruins and selling scrap. When I was a bit older and had a few caps to my name, I moved into Rivet City and opened a junk stand. While I was there, I met a guy named Cutler. We got along pretty well. Watched each other's backs and kept each other out of trouble. When the Brotherhood came through on a recruiting run, we felt like it was a way out of our nowhere lives. So we joined up. Okay. I'm glad you had greater ambitions than just selling junk. Once I saw what the Brotherhood had to offer, 
There was no comparison. Anyway, about a year after we were posted to the Pridwin, Cutler vanished on a scouting op. It took some convincing, but I was able to persuade my CO to let me assemble a squad and search for him. It took almost three weeks, but we tracked his team down to a super mutant hive. Those wretched abominations had slaughtered everyone but Cutler. He should have been so lucky. The mutant bastards used their FEV to change him into one of their own kind. He wasn't Cutler anymore. I had to... It was my duty to put him down. I have so many questions. What's an FEV? Are you sure there wasn't anything you can do to change him back? The FEV effect is irreversible. There was nothing anyone could do. What well, was it? Was he still like himself? Did he know who he was? Was he hostile? I don't, know. I don't get it. He did the right thing. It's what I was taught. I don't know if it was right. Ever since Cutler died, I've seen other soldiers come and go. Some were brave, some were honest. Hell, some were even downright heroic. But I'd never considered any of them to be a good friend. A friend like Cutler was. Until now. It's a good feeling, but it frightens me all the same. Having a bond with someone, then losing them. It changes you. I don't want to go through that again. Flirt. <laughs> no, I don't like you like that, Dance. It'll never come to that, I promise. Even though I'm well aware that you have no control over it, I appreciate the sentiment. I just thought you deserved to know how I felt. If you feel that I've overstepped my bounds, I completely understand. Whatever the case may be, I appreciate the fact that you took the time to listen. Yeah, dog, you know, as a fellow soldier, was a bro hug right here. Mm, mm, bro hug. That was more of a bro dry hump. Sorry, that was weird. <laughs> So, I'm not really understanding the way this relationship is progressing with him because it went from he admires me to he hated something I did to let's have a new talk. I guess that happened because of the admiration achievement and he didn't hate what I did enough for it to drop down, but I don't know, it's weird. Pam, I did your shit. Setting human machine interface to 100%. Good evening, agent. My data indicates Mercer's safe house has been established. Reward dispensed. Further help is required. I have the location of a Black Ops cache. It contains supplies our organization needs. Railroad Alpha has asked for you to secure the cache from any hostels in its vicinity. Hmm, that sounds like a fun mission, actually. What's in the cache? Contents are classified. However, if the cache is secured, it increases our organization's effectiveness by 2%. Warning, margin of error is 3%. The cache is hidden in compliance with tactical counter surveillance protocols. This RFID device will locate and unlock the cache upon close proximity. Cool. How does this device work? The device is calibrated to identify you as Colonel Johnson of the Defense Intelligence Agency. Colonel Johnson is authorized to access all DIA military ordinance in the region designated Commonwealth. You only have to secure the cache Runners will transport contents on a separate timetable. Terminating human machine interface. Okay, got an RFID device. Jackpot, ruined skyscraper. Alright, that sounds cool. That's definitely what we're gonna do in the next video, guys. I was kinda worried that Pam was just gonna be like the robot version of Preston sending me out to, you know, secure settlements and shit like that. So I'm really happy to see that there's actually a little variety, and maybe there will be some good loot coming from that too. So that's the. Uh, I, I, I'm good. I only have a little bit of radiation. Don't tell me how to live my life. Yeah, so that's gonna be the agenda on the next video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm Dude Long Couch. I'll catch y'all in the next part. Peace.